What's up guys, Starlink here. Now today, I wanted to talk about some of my most anticipated games that I'm really looking forward to playing this year. So let's jump into it, shall we? Now this first title on the list is probably not on too many people's radar, and that's Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk. Now this is a dungeon crawler RPG created by Nippon Ichi Software and released in Japan in 2016. But we're finally going to see an international release of the fall of this year. And I'm really looking forward to playing it. Because I've thoroughly enjoyed games like the Etrian Odyssey series on the DS and the 3DS, as well as the Death Gaze games on the Vita. So I'm no stranger when it comes to these dungeon crawler RPGs. And I also love the art style of Nippon Ichi Software, so that's a plus. So I'm really looking forward to finally being able to play this game later this year. Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk releases in the fall of this year on the PS4, the Vita, the Switch, and the PC. Now this next title on my list happens to be a fighting game called Blade Strangers. Now I'm not the biggest fighting game fan. It's not that I don't enjoy them, it's just that I'm not very good at them. I'm one of those kinds of people that'll mindlessly button mash to win or I have a hard time trying to pull off a specific move. So I'd probably get my butt served to me in an online match for sure. <laughs> but regardless of my fighting skills, I still enjoy a good romp here and there and this is a game that I'm really looking forward to. Now the name of the devs that created Blade Strangers is Studio Sizensen. Now I've never heard of this company before, but if this is one of their first titles, color me impressed because the art style and the gameplay look amazing. Plus, it's a Nicholas game, so if you know if you buy that physical copy, it's going to be packed with a bunch of little goodies. Blade Strangers is set to release this year on the Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Now while we're on the topic of fighting games, Smash Brothers. Of course I'm excited for Smash Brothers. Need I say more? Now the next title on my list is the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Now I was a big fan of the original Spyro Trilogy on the PlayStation years ago, but I never dabbled much in the series beyond that point because after Insomniac dropped the license, the series started kind of going downhill after that. But I like what Activision and the developer Toys for Bob are doing with the Reignited Trilogy. It looks like a lot of tender love and care was going into remaking these games. And for some people, this will be their first time experiencing the original Spyro games, like it was for me in the Crash Insane trilogy. So hopefully everything will turn out alright in the end, so by September, for those of you that never played the original Spyro games, can see what all the fuss was about. The Reignited Trilogy releases on September 21st on PS4 and Xbox One. Now speaking of Activision and Insomniac Games, what other title have they been working on behind the scenes? A little game called Spider-Man of course. And me being a big Spider-Man fan, he happens to be my favorite superhero of all time by the way, of course I'm excited. I don't think I've been excited for a Spider-Man game since Spider-Man 2 on the GameCube, Xbox, and PS2 years ago. It's to that point where I've seen enough footage of the game that I just want to have it in my hands and start playing it now. It's not too much longer we have to wait guys. We got until September 7th that we can start kicking people's butt as Spider-Man. Now the next three titles on my list are all from Square Enix. And those titles being Kingdom Hearts 3, Dragon Quest XI, and Octopath Traveler. Now with Kingdom Hearts 3, there's not really much to say really. Just like everybody else, I've been anticipating playing this game since way back in 2006 when I finished Kingdom Hearts 2. So yes, I'm really looking forward to finally sinking my teeth into this game when it releases later this year. Now Dragon Quest XI has been out in Japan for a while now, but it's finally set to release to the rest of the world later this year. And yes, I'm a Dragon Quest fan. Now I didn't get into the series until Dragon Quest VIII on the PS2, but since then I've enjoyed past entries in the franchise immensely. And one thing I've always enjoyed about the Dragon Quest games is that they don't deviate too far from the formula that made the original games great. Unlike, say, the Final Fantasy series, which has always been a mixed bag. They've always had that classic, turn-based RPG combat, which I've always been a fan of, personally. So yes, I'm really excited to finally play this game later this year. Ah, Octopath Traveler. Now this is my most anticipated RPG on this list for sure. I love the retro mixed with HD visual art style, and it takes my breath away every time. It's like watching and playing a piece of art. And every time that I see Square Enix show off a new trailer showcasing the characters and their abilities, 
it makes me want to get my hands on this game that much sooner. And luckily, we don't have too much longer to wait on this one because it comes out on July 13th. Now while Octopath Traveler is set to release on the Nintendo Switch for July 13th, with Dragon Quest XI coming out September 4th for the PS4 and PC, Kingdom Hearts 3 doesn't have a set release date yet. Though Tetsuya Nomura has gone on record saying that an announcement will be made sometime in June, so that most likely means E3. Get ready to set your calendar for this one guys. Now the last title on this list and my number one most anticipated game has to go to Mega Man 11. Now if a lot of you guys have been following me for a while, you may already be aware that I'm a pretty big Mega Man fan. So I'm really excited to finally play this game this year, as I'm sure many of you are as well. And I'm not going to lie to you, I ended up caving in on that GameStop exclusive Switch release that comes with the Mega Man Amiibo. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. <laughs> I might end up getting the PS4 digital release as well, because have any of you guys seen that dynamic theme yet? It looks and sounds amazing. Mega Man 11 releases on October 2nd for the PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Get ready to jump and shoot, guys. Alright guys, you know the drill. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, and leave a comment down below on what some of your most anticipated games are that are coming out this year. Maybe there's some that I missed that aren't on my list. Anyways guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.